Hey, 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 Bruno da Gama here, Brazilian health nuts. I am so excited as always to come. I love doing these episodes, guys. One of the best parts of my days is actually when I come here and I record those episodes. It really is, number one, it's good for me because it's always a reminder about my situation and about, you know, to, to myself, to keep keeping myself growing and number two because I just love sharing this with you guys thank you so much for being here as always and I want to ask you this question today do you believe in luck are you what do you think about this a lot of people are trying to to be lucky they talk about oh this is so lucky or I just don't have luck in my life I want to actually share a story with you this story my personal life this is something that happened to me and I want you to really to please listen to this until the end because I actually have something special to, to give to you at the end of this episode. Okay, so make sure you listen to this whole story. It's a little long, I must say. So here we go. June 2015. Okay, that's more than two years ago right now. More than two years ago. Holy crap. Time flies. <laughs> All right. So I was in New York City. And I was talking to my friend Alex, Alex uh, Kip, and I told man, I I wanna go to San Diego. I just wanna move to San Diego. I don't know. There is something that I gotta go there. There is some people that I have to meet. I don't know. I was just thinking about something came in, from inside of me, and I I need to get away from New York. I need to move. I I was living here for quite a long time. And I just had, I want to experience something new and there are some cool people, there is some, something that was calling my attention and I want to go to San Diego. So I decided I'm just gonna go. I didn't know anybody there. I had no jobs, no nothing really. I just decided that I wanna go. And then I had a friend from Brazil, his name is Humberto. Humberto was actually doing internship in San Diego. So he was there in, in San Diego from from June to August for three months and I decided that I was going to go to San Diego in September and and I was like asking Umberto, hey man, how is life in San Diego? What can you give me? What are the tips that you can give to me? I was being in touch with Umberto all the time. So the first thing that Umberto told me was like, man, you need to have a car. And I, you know, I don't have a car in New York City. I didn't even have one in Brazil. I never really drove my, my whole life. And I was like, okay, cool, can you help me with that? He's like, you know what, I'm actually renting a car right now and maybe when I go, I can talk to the owner and maybe you can rent. So he talked to the owner of the car, his name is Adriano, and then Adriano told Umberto that actually who he wanted to sell the car. And me, myself, I wanted to buy a car. So I was like, can you please put me in touch with Adriano and I'm going to be talking to him. So I talked to Adriano and he's like, yeah, I actually can sell the car to you. So boom, deal, let's do this, let's make this happen. So I told Umberto, just leave the car on my new house, on my new place when I moved to San Diego, just leave there parked on the, on the street. And when I get there, I have the car. So he did that, he actually parked the car there. And when I got to San Diego, I had this car there waiting for me. I was like so happy, I didn't have to go to, through any stressful situation and I just could enjoy the car. So here's what happened though, when I got there, I took the car and Adriano, the owner of the car, he, who was in Brazil at this time already, he said that, well, actually, there is something that I have to fix in the car in order to change the name, to change the name of the car from my name to your name so that we can do this transaction. You can give me money and I can give you the car. So I said, cool, no worries. And he said, like, you know, you can, you can keep driving the car until I, I'm going to be buying this piece uh, this week. And then we can do the whole transfer money situation thing, the buying process really, right? So I wait, I kept driving the car, I got there to San Diego, started driving the car. And then after two weeks, he sent me this piece, this piece uh, for whatever it is, I don't even know what it was for, but it was this piece for the car to get changed. So I went to the mechanics and when I got to the mechanics, they told me this was the wrong piece. And I was like, oh shit. Okay, let me tell Adriano, man, you sent me the wrong piece. So I told Adriano that he sent me the wrong piece. Said, okay, sorry, man, I'm going to buy a, a, a new one. 
So he went online. He was in Brazil, you know. He was doing this all online. So he sent. So he was looking for this new piece, and the piece never came. Never came. Never came. And I was asking, "What's up? What's up?" And he's like, oh, "I'm trying to find this, but I'm so busy with my job right now." I was like, "All right, I'm going to be keeping driving your car, you know, <laughs> for free." And so he said, "Yeah, don't worry. Like you're gonna figure it out this." And then. One day, after two months, two months, the piece never came. He said that he sent, he never got to my place. Uh, I don't know what happened, if somebody took the piece, whatever happened there. I know that it never got to my home. And then after two months, I told Adriano, actually, man, something happened. I'm not going to be staying in San Diego. So I decided that I didn't want to be living in San Diego anymore. It was not the city for me. It was not the right timing. And I was just like, you know, oh, I'm going to be going to Brazil and then I'm going to go back to New York City. So after two months, I still had the car. I was already decided that I wanted to, to leave San Diego. And I was like, what do I do with the car? What should I do? And he's like, he's, he never got back to me, to me anymore. I don't know what happened to him. He just kind of like disappeared. And then on the, towards the third month, when I was almost going to Brazil to take the plane, Ah, uh, this guy from Brazil as well came to live in my place. He took my room inside of this house. And then I was like, man, I still have a car. Do you want a car? <laughs> He's like, yes, I need a car. So I said, I'm going to be putting you in touch with the owner of the car, Adriano. And maybe you can figure out what the hell is going on because he's not getting back to me. I have this car. I'm just going to you know throw the key in, in, a, in the swimming pool or I'm gonna throw the ski in the ocean whatever I don't know what I'm gonna do with this car man I'm going back to Brazil so I put him in touch with Adriano and then they figured out something I don't know what what the deal was but they figured out something so I went to the airport I gave the key back to this new guy and that was it I I, I had the car for pretty much three months and 10 days. I didn't have to pay anything. I, you know, like I offer some money, but there was nothing we can do. And I was like, dude, you are crazy luck. So if that's luck, that's if that's not luck, I don't know what that is. You tell me. So why am I sharing this story with you? Well, because you are here inside of my crew. You are here inside of my tribe right now. You are inside of the Dead on Fire show. You are inside of my podcast, inside of my YouTube, whatever you are right now listening, watch me. I believe that you are here for a reason. And I want to make this your lucky day. I want to give you something very special because here's the deal. If you are subscribing to this, if you are watching me, if you are listening to me right now, I want to make your life better because that is the goal of the Dead on Fire. That's the only goal. It is to improve your life because I know that you can live so much better. I know that your life can be so much more. I know that you can have the body of your dreams, the energy you want to play with your kids. You want to be this example, this role model for your family. You want to have longevity, to play with your grandkids, to play with your kids, to play with everybody. You want to be around. I know that you can achieve your dreams. I just know it is possible. But there is one thing you got to do. You got to take action. That's it. If you don't take action, nothing's going to change. The only change that's going to happen in your life is going to come from your ability to take freaking action. Even if it's wrong action, it doesn't really matter. You're going to find your way. But the more you keep taking action, the better you're going to get it. So today, I want to invite you to take action. And I don't want you just to be watching and listening to this all the time and just doing nothing. Because I talk about this on previous episodes information is not going to be doing anything to your life you gotta make sure that you implement that is the word of this 21st century century implementation if you don't have implementation in your life really you are fucked up you are screwed up nothing's gonna happen to you if you just keep consuming so today i want to invite you to take action to do something so let's go click the link right on the description of this and there is something there waiting for you. Or just go to brazilianhealthnuts.com and there is something there waiting for you for free. I promise you it's amazing, okay? On the meantime, do me a favor. If you like the show, if you like the Dead on Fire show, do me a favor, please, please, please leave a review 
on iTunes, okay? If you are listening on iTunes, leave a review for the podcast. This way we can grow the podcast and, and reach more dads all over the world. This is the goal. So please leave a review. And don't forget to get this free gift at brazilianhealthnet.com or just go inside of the description of this video. Until there, make sure to keep taking action, my friends, so that you can become a dad's on fire. I will talk to you very soon. Have a great, great day. Bye.